Hello and welcome to this week's Pause for Prayer. I am not a great gardener, but one of the things I am most proud of in my garden is this flower bed behind, because when we moved into this manse seven and a half years ago, um, there was nothing here at all. It was just a load of shingle. But gradually I planted some bulbs and I planted some seeds and some little tiny plants. And over the past seven and a half years, it's grown into a really lush green bed and at different times of years, different flowers come out. There are some poppies at the end there. You probably can't see them very well on the, the resolution on my camera, but there are some poppies down there. There's a clematis behind. Um, these plants will soon be gloriously yellow, shining out. Um, there are a whole load more plants around this corner over here. And it reminds us, doesn't it, just how much um, things can come alive. From nothing can come something really quite beautiful over time. Um, a few seeds, a bit of rain, a bit of sun, and this is what happens. And it reminds me of that passage in 1 Corinthians where Paul is telling the Corinthian church that, that he planted the seed of their faith. Apollos and other church leaders came and watered it, but God was the one who gave the growth. And it reminds us, doesn't it, in our faith life that, that that's what happens with us. Uh, you might be able to think of the person who planted the seed of your faith. Um, you might be able to think of people who've watered it on the way, but throughout it all, it's a work of God. It's a work of Jesus's grace in our lives. And as part of our, our little series on our vision here on these Pause for Prayers, um, we're thinking today about how we can be participative in our faith and in our church life. And this is one example of how we are all called to participate. We are all called to be people who plant seeds of the gospel, seeds of faith in other people's lives and to water the seeds that have already been planted, to be a part of helping them to discover Jesus. And that's something that every one of us can do with people that we meet in our everyday lives. It's something we can do together within our church family as we encourage one another, we water one another's seeds, help one another in the journey of discipleship. It's something that we can do together when we run activities for our community. We've all got a part to play. One of the things that's important in the life of the United Reformed Church is the priesthood of all believers. Um, we're not a denomination where I, as the minister, have lots of power. Um, the church meeting together holds the authority for the local church. And we're not meant to be a democracy. We often call ourselves a democracy. We're not meant to be a democracy. We're meant to be a theocracy where God's in charge. But all of us are part of discerning what God wants us to do. So I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you, if you are part of our church family, to think about where might God be asking you to get involved? And whether you're part of our church family or not, I, I ask you to, to ask God, how can you plant seeds? How can you water seeds? How can you be a part of this great work of the growth of God's kingdom, of people coming to know Jesus, of people growing into a new life with Jesus throughout their lives, that, that all of us might bear fruit, that all of us might bear these sorts of beautiful flowers that you can see behind me. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you call us into your church. And the church is somewhere where every single one of us has a role to play. It's not just about the minister and the elders. It's about all of us discerning what it is that you are saying to us. It's about all of us seeing the call you have placed on our lives to be your witnesses, to share your good news, to plant seeds of faith in other people's lives, to water the seeds in one another's lives and to see the growth which you alone bring. Help us to be, in the words of Paul in 1 Corinthians, your co-workers, joining in with this amazing work because there is no master so kind as Christ, no service as rewarding as Christ's. There is no reward as that of so fulfilling as that of Christ's. So help us I pray, give us a fresh vision for who we're called to be as individuals and as a church family. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us and if you've missed any in this little series on our vision I do encourage you to go back and to watch them in our YouTube page.